<laughs> hey, we are okay. Yay. <laughs> we're back. After what feels like way too long. The Odyssey. Begins again. Join us for the next, I don't know, however many minutes. As we find out, are we really going into the Mithril Mines today? <laughs> but first, let's recap. I shared with the group, I had some interesting mindset, because in my notes I put, the kids are all right, but are they really, though? <laughs> <laughs> Last time, you conquered the mossy temple, I guess, and the ancient glade beneath it. And you saved some kids, Karina and her friends, and they're very thankful. And um, they're no longer on the path to becoming maimids or being cooked and eaten, so... I think they're all pretty happy about that. Would you say that we also killed some kids because we killed those goatlings? Oh, man, it's a real shame. You have to leave so soon. <laughs> wow. Uh, actually, I love I love that so that's, much. That's definitely inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. All, the, all those people always seems to get the inspiration, but add some more. <laughs> Sprinkle some extra inspiration on your inspiration. Um. Naya had a family once. Sandwich. Once. <laughs> not that I... Really, we found that Not out. that I ever got to meet them by the time they were all uh, killed off camera, but... The DM giveth and the DM took well, it away. <laughs> <laughs> I did kill one of your family members on camera. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that did happen. That's true. And maybe that's how you guys have a really significant uncle. bond. <laughs> maybe. <clears throat> Uh, Naya had had a friend too, <clears throat> although she's she's heading back to the circle, I think now. So yeah, yeah, but, but she was my know. only acquaintance. <laughs> yeah, so um, you all leveled up to level four. You were all happily heading back to Astoria with the horn of Balmetria in your possession, mm -hmm. and you were so rudely interrupted on your way back. Very, very much so by a gentleman and a scholar who sits atop a silver dragon riding about proclaiming there must be a sacrifice. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and what it says here on page 21 is that the centaur warband uh, gallops towards you. The mm -hmm. dragon vanishes into the clouds above, it says. I'm reading. Lightning okay. tears across the sky. The ground shakes as something thunders towards you. It's a bloodthirsty war band of charging centaurs. And if they're bloodthirsty, I think that means we have to roll initiative. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> There's one for each of you. Five centaurs. Here we go. It's less centaurs than I thought they were going to be, so that's good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, and less a dragon, so I'm happy about that, too. <laughs> Naya, I got excited for your role because I thought it was yeah. my role for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, I, that's less good. That's less good than I thought. No. Andromeda, what initiative are you at? Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Uh, Delta, what do you got? Andromeda, we got to stop doing this. I also got a 12. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll figure that out when we get there. <clears throat> uh, Kiros? Uh, nine. Okay, this is going well so far. Yeah. Naya? Uh, 18. Like that one as much. <laughs> Nyrix? <laughs> 13. Okay. Kind of. Okay. Kind of in here and then nine. Five. <clears throat> Not my words. Five bloodthirsty centaurs. Charging towards you. Naya, at initiative 18. Um, Kira says, you better hoof it and figure out what you're going to do this turn. <laughs> but, boo, Kira. But, just, I have so many don't get that. issues. Just, um, just um, boo. Just you, better, boo. you better thunder into the action. <laughs> okay. I have an idea, but it's going to be at least only for good for... At least maybe two people. <laughs> I ha uh, for me to do? Uh, either wait for me or if you have something you want to do. Uh, I do. 
I, I do. I'm going to uh, retreat as best I can to the center of the group. <laughs> um, and cast uh, Bless at the second level, which I believe means I can cast it on four of you. So I will Ooh. cast Bless at the second level and give everyone, except for myself, Bless. Centaurs or no? Uh, no, I'm going to exclude the centaurs. I'm just going but... to jot that down, not the centaurs. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. I just wanted to be clear. I, you know, I don't know. Like, Absolutely. Check. You miss every shot you don't make. Um, so, yes, everyone gets an additional D4, and um, I try to stay in the center. Naya gets um, behind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It seems a little unfair that the centaurs don't get something the rest of you do, but, uh, you know, you, you do you. So, right. <laughs> hey, initially a 14. Fallback. Who rolled a 14? Oh, none of you. It's the yeah, centaurs. No. No. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Let me take a look at these numbers. <laughs> these things are supposed to tell me something about what these centaurs are. Oh, they're, they're large monstrosities. They large. run really fast, 50 feet, so... They've got plenty mm -hmm. of speed to, you know, actually be in melee range if they want to be. Mm -hmm. Looks like they want to be because they're charging. So the 30 mm -hmm. feet straight, all extra damage. All right. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> I mean, it's only fair. One on each of you, right? So one centaur each. One hey, attack. you said they're monstrosities? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's my favorite enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yes. I get advantage on survival tracks. <laughs> oh, no, no, right. Oh, all right. I forgot Not rangers so. were weird. You sh should look for centaur tracks. Yeah. <laughs> we can see uh, where yeah. they came from. Wait, Liz, don't you give a thing at third level as an Amazonian ranger that helps you with your favorite enemy type? Uh. I get my bird. I get a battle cry. Yeah, you get like a frenzy that thing. Sounds, yeah. yeah. Three. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, and I get advantage on my tax. And I sort of go into a rage. Hey, that's yeah. my thing. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go through this one at a time. Uh, let's see. Who do we want to start with? Any volunteers? I go right. first. Oh, Kiros? <laughs> All right, Kiros. One charges at you with its pike. Bring it. <laughs> uh, 23. Yes, you know that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you take a charging amount of 19 piercing damage oh. and drive its pike into you. Now, Kiros weeps. <laughs> Nerex, did I see you raise your hand? Sure. Yes. Oh, Hi. I rolled the same number again. <laughs> that's a 23 hit, Nerex. Weird. You take 19 um, piercing damage if it does. All right, Delta. I imagine you're out front, right? Yeah. You're, you're trying to trying to show brave in the face of this danger. Sure. Uh, nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> Nin nineteen for nineteen. Oh God. I like it. I don't. It's like a little marketing thing, you know. Andromeda. <laughs> I, I assume you're a little bit towards the back, right? Yeah. With with Naya, so there's two left and there's two of you, but I imagine you're you're both more towards the back line. Mm -hmm. So, hmm, what to do here? Let's see. All right. Well, <clears throat> they they dislike Naya enough because she's doomed that one charges through the front line oh, towards mm -hmm. Naya. Let's see what it does. Oh, it only hits twelve, Naya. That is not enough. Luckily, I have oh, a okay. shield. <laughs> I thought you said you were doomed. <laughs> I am. Just not today. Come on. I don't think... I'm emotionally Poser. doomed. <clears throat> All right. One more. So, I carry the shield. Let's see. One, two, I'm 19 three. points doomed right now. <clears throat> oh, Kiros. <clears throat> the other one didn't have quite enough speed to get to Andromeda. That's so fine. It, this is my job. Refocuses <laughs> on you. Oh, it only hits AC 13. Oh, thank you. That's a miss. <laughs> That's a miss. So he wasn't so bad. Da -da. That's the end of the centaur's turn. <laughs> Who's up? At 13, it's Nerex. 
Yeah, you, one more centaur, hit like that. A bloodthirsty centaur. I will be an ex parrot. Um, what's <laughs> Mr. Bloodthirsty wearing? How is he appareled? A, a comparison. Does he have armor on, or is he just a naked guy with a stick with a pointy thing on the end of it? Pretty much a Horseman. pretty much a, na a naked a naked man with. He's not wearing a metal cup, body. is he? No. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, because heat metal would fright. Uh, mm -hmm. I am going to. Oh. oh my goodness. Maybe maybe there's some leather accoutrements on uh, on his accoutrement. Uh, right. Yeah. I am going to um, ask the this guy who speared me. He's right on me, or did was it like a drive by? Did they run us no, down? No, he's, or he's right on you. He's just, just right down. on top of you. Okay, and he's he's ready. He's ready to go again with this pike. He's got a set of front hooves that are ready to rear up and do some damage. Uh oh, that's oh, weird. Yeah. Front hooves shouldn't rear up. That seems, up. You mm. know, he needs to they need to front up. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna oh, ask him oh. to make a DC 14 wisdom save. I don't. I don't like these. All right. <laughs> As I look him in wisdom the eye. Save. And go, <laughs> Plus one. Oh, I rolled a nineteen, so that's a twenty. No, no. fucker. No, no. Why are these centaurs invincible? <laughs> um, I am then going to sadly subtract the spell slot because nothing happened, and then I'm going to fly the fuck away from Johnny. Um, oh. Yeah, it's I an am. opportunity attack. Let's see if he kills saying? me. It is. If he hits me, I'm dead. Plus six. It's AC 11, sir. He misses. Okay. Whew. Okay. Um, takes off. And I'm going to, bo going to bonus action. Who got hit? Um, uh, everyone. <laughs> except. <laughs> everyone except <Andromeda>. Naya. <laughs> and Naya. Naya and Andromeda. Kiros, right. Kiros didn't get to rage yet, right? No. no. Um, and who's, are you hurt really badly? Uh, I have, I on a scale of 45, I would say I'm a 14. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, one more hit, you're down. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to healing word you at second level. Okay. So, oh, no, I can I do that if my spell didn't go off? Because I didn't technically, ca I did cast a spell and it didn't yeah. work, so I can't do that. I'm sorry. That's okay. False promise. Never mind. I'm going to give you inspiration instead. Okay. So, um, please take a, a d6. Yeah, sorry. Done. Okay. All right. Delta and or Andromeda. I'll let Andromeda go. Okay. Right. Um. So, I guess. Uh. First, I'm gonna let uh. Nicodemus, like, get all up in that uh centaur that's attacking Naya. Go, Nicodemus, go. <laughs> and then I'm going to sort of run up and, like, grab Naya around the middle and then cast Jump on myself <laughs> and jump away. <laughs> <Ooh. Okay. Dope. laughs> well, why don't we do Nicodemus first? So Nicodemus is going for the eyes? Yes. Go for right. the eyes, boo. The eyes. <laughs> Because he does better than me at hitting things. <laughs> Unless they have their family members. Of other no, he does much better at hitting things. Uh, he <laughs> rolled a dirty 20. Oh, that's a, that's a hit. <laughs> yep, that would damage a centaur. Directly in the eyes. And he does 5 damage. Slashing okay. damage. The centaur takes all 5 slashing damage in the face. Alright, so you're running over. You're casting jump. And it's going to jump away. How far does jump take you? It uh, triples my jump distance. Oh, cool. I know what that means. <laughs> okay. Well, strength modifier. Like, yeah, well, well, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a way to calculate strength score. 18, 20 feet. It's I don't know. Strength, we can, yeah, we can, we can deal with strength, that. We don't have to worry about it. It's, it's your strength score, I believe. And if it's a Which standing is jump, zero. If it's, if it's a, I think it's 10. <laughs> No, no, your score itself is what, 10? Yeah. 10 feet is how far you normally can jump from a running start. 
from a standing, I think it's five. Mm -hmm. And then, so if you're standing, you're not running, or are you going to run and jump? Well, I was going to run the and right? then, yeah, jump so, up. So I think you can jump 30 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think that's how it works. If that's if the formula is correct, which I don't know. I, I, I'm it, not looking at the rules right now. Uh, quickly looking at, yeah, that, that looks right. It's when you make a long jump, if you move at least 10 feet, you jump your strength score, as mm -hmm. Timothy said. And if you're standing still, you can leap half that. So, right. 30-foot leap. <laughs> Away from danger. <laughs> Clear. <sighs> With Naya. <laughs> With Naya. Oh, bless you. Yeah. You can add Naya to your inventory sheet for that. <laughs> <laughs> Delta. Uh, so everybody's peacing out, but me. <laughs> still here. I'm just flying. Uh, so there's a there's a bloodthirsty centaur. Uh, That's your attention. You're blessed. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm thinking laughs> oh shit! I should. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, you the didn't roll attack. Yeah, the, the centaur says to you, uh, yeah. "Did you notice I am bloodthirsty?" <laughs> I, I did. Uh, you no know? one of us have offered them any cups of blood. This oh, could turn sure. this whole situation around if we have a good. You know. You know, I didn't want to mention it in case <laughs> you already knew, but uh, I did notice. Oh well, thank you. Uh, for okay. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Um, well, I guess I'm going to use my action to cast mirror image on myself. Okay. Hopefully. So now there's a bunch of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, but only you know. one of them has blood in them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, is oh, that shit. it for Delta? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, um, right. Shoosh. Uh, I didn't expect everyone to run away. <laughs> so... You can also run. Hey, Kiros is standing right there with you. <laughs> now, he hasn't acted yet, but... <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> uh, you haven't necessarily run away. You just run out of melee range. <laughs> They're backing up. They are the ranged contingent of the party. But if you do not have any hit points, does, also run away. But then, never mind. Everybody, everyone keep themselves safe. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, cast Dragon's Breath on myself. And then I'm going to strategically back up. <laughs> While I'm breathing fire. All of you. All of you. <laughs> no, because you have to use your action to actually cast the dragon's breath. It's oh. that, like, I can touch any one of y'all and cast it on you, and then you can breathe fire. So I'm choosing to cast it on myself. But the, and then... the breath isn't a bonus action? No, it's an action. Oh, okay. So you can do it all on your turn because it's a bonus action to cast and then an action to use. Yeah, but I, I used yeah. my action to make duplicates of myself. Right. Yeah. That's first true. and then that's and that's why it's good on familiars because familiars don't actually get like bonus actions they get actions yeah <laughs> so but hey next turn one of these four deltas are gonna spew hot fire or something so okay <laughs> yeah, I, all right I look forward to you surviving that long also good to cast on Nicodemus, then it's like a mini dragon just Aww. doing well, whatever well technically you want. it says oh, a true. creature and Nicodemus is so yeah what do you mean what you say? Construct. it's a creature type that is a creature is it? type yeah I think it would work. oh yeah. oh shit unless it's like hey. cure wound specifies <laughs> it doesn't work on creatures <laughs> or constructs but creatures are oh, everything basically a hey. hey. andromeda <laughs> C -c 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 combo future combo <laughs> yeah oh it's like chrono trigger all over <laughs> oh <laughs> anyway, Kiros You've warmed my whole heart, Garrett uh, I, I, I sit here quietly and die No, um <laughs> I'm gonna use right, my I'll, I'll okay. just mark you off the initiative order then. Thank you <laughs> I'm gonna use my last rage So I'm going to go into okay. a rage Oh, and... are you also bloodthirsty? Kiros? Yes <laughs> The centaur asks it's, it's, <laughs> Yes ah, it's You've a... seen my bloodthirsty with a bloodthirsty of your own I hate you 
Okay. It's more blood <laughs> curious. Um, game game recognizes game. Yeah. Okay, so it's blood so curious. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to attack one of them. Ugh. Um, do I think that hits, or should I use my uh, inspiration from Nerex? Um, a it's got pretty low AC. Okay, a 14 to hit with Bless? Yeah, that hits. Okay, cool. You've successfully struck a bloodthirsty centaur. How do you like it when you take... Frickin' hell. Uh, 18 slashing damage. Max slash damage. Ooh. Oh. I have to do nice. math. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> Whoa. Not really. You could just say he dies. <laughs> could, but he doesn't. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, Work with yeah. me here, Centaur. <laughs> he's, he's, that's a significant blow to the Centaur. Not quite bloodied, <laughs> but a significant blow. Ooh. And then Tells us I'll kind of g- gesture to everyone else like, yeah, that's right. Bring it. Ignore the four snake women's. <laughs> Let's see what the bloodthirsty centaurs think about this. Okay. Oh, they they pay attention. Okay. We'll see what that means. <laughs> Take a note. Okay. <laughs> Top of the round. Centaurs are. I didn't get to like- go. No, I did. I go first. That's right. Never mind. Yep. I did a bless. Centaurs are looking like they're um, not quite done with their work here. So they're going to stick around at least one more round. Naya, yeah. what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I You're don't in the know. arms of one of your friends. The you, feel the, you feel the air going through your watery <laughs> hair. Yes. Leaping about. Um, things were scary, but for, for just a moment, things felt all right. Yeah, I actually, I thought I was having an out-of-body so, experience at first, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm imagining now you look about yourself again, and the <laughs> sets back in, as yeah. bloodthirsty centaurs are all about. Um, gosh, they sure are thirsty. Um, <laughs> Delta, how, how poorly do you look from the previous uh, fight? On a scale of 1 to 30, I'm at an 11. <laughs> one more, one more hit instead. Yeah. Gee. That's why uh, duplicating is the first move, yes. not dragon breathing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, I will. No, then I can't do that. All right, I am going to. hate it. I'm going to shoot my new dead ants um, short bow of cupidity at uh, dead ant, dead ant. the wounded um, the wounded centaur. That's the one that Andromeda get, wounded? I'm sorry, the one that Nicodemus wounded or the one that uh, Kiros wounded? Um, actually, no. You know what? The one that stabbed for me Oh, that's is the not one that Nicodemus. Oh, scratched. that's right. That is the one that Nicodemus scratched. Yep. So then I, I think that'll be um, one that seems less engaged. If I can, I mean, I know they're all kind of mobbed up there, but, but one with the least amount of blood in a spear. I'm actually going to try the charm effect of this thing. So first things first, I have to hit, make an attack. Making an attack. It rolled off the screen, so I have to wait for it to tell me. I got a nineteen. Ooh, nice. That is a hit, sir. Okay, so now um, it needs to make a DC 14 wisdom save. Plus one. Here we go. 15. That will do it, unfortunately. It will not be charmed by me. Um, I'm guessing that in, if I'm doing that, I'm not doing damage, because that seems contradictory otherwise. Love does hurt, I though. Think. They say that in that song I heard. I uh, but anyway, yes, I will assume. <laughs> yeah, I will assume that that was my uh, action then, and I will cast Sanctuary on Delta. Oh. In right. order to attempt to attack Delta, they will have to succeed on a Wisdom uh, saving okay. throw. There's a lot of check. barriers to hurting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It, it always yes. seems that way. What what damage did you do, uh, Naya? You can, you, I, can, you should do damage with it. Oh, okay. Right? Uh, I appreciate it. You can attack, that. it does damage, and then okay. you just decide whether or not you want to take that effect. Then I think I'm rolling that, yeah. Uh, I did seven damage, seven piercing. Seven. Okay. Fortunately to a fresh target, but... All right, uh, centaurs, 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 centaurs. All right, there's a, there's a couple on Kiros that are going to remain on Kiros. Let's see how they do here. Bring it. They strike out with their pikes, Kiros. Mm, the first one only hits 15. 15 is my armor class. Oh, that's nine piercing damage. Half. <laughs> okay. That's true. Okay, good. The second okay. one, though, hits an AC 20. That's a hit. Which is nine piercing damage. So halved. How you looking? I'm not great. <laughs> with their multi attack, they both rear up with the front hooves. Uh -huh. Here we go. Seventeen. Is a hit. That's Ooh. eleven bludgeoning damage. Okay. <laughs> I have one hit point. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Kiros. <laughs> Second one, hooves, 23. <laughs> I'm unconscious. <laughs> they they really put their foot down with you, Kira. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they had quite enough of you. <laughs> see see how much, see how much more the puns hurt when it's actually a party member down on the ground? Isn't it, it fun? It's, it does. Just All right, well, really needs to the hide other ones out of there. The other three looked your way, but then saw that you were getting trampled to death, and were like, oh, well, I guess we don't really have to worry about that guy. Thanks for the pass! So, <laughs> alright, so Delta, you've got one... Let's see, alright, so Delta, there's definitely one coming at you, with all of you, all four of you. Uh, mm -hmm. It has What's... to succeed on a wisdom uh, check to even oh. think of attacking Delta. <laughs> and then it's going to have to figure out which one's real. <laughs> uh, it makes an 11 on its wisdom save. That will not be enough. So it must attack somebody else. My corpse. <laughs> <laughs> corpse, Naya, Nyrix, or Andromeda. I'm 30 feet away. <laughs> I'm 30 feet away, too. Up in the air. Oh, you're up in the air. So it... Alright, fine. Well, I rolled Nyrix, so it drops its pike. It pulls out its... It pulls out its longbow. Where does this oh, thing shit. Pull a longbow? Wait. You don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. It's like a compartment opens up on the horse part. Yeah. And it pulls, it a longbow. It pulls it out, out of its out trunk. A compartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then another like compartment opens and, and it pulls some beer. arrows out. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that like a 7-Up commercial? The, yeah, English called the, <laughs> yeah, the English like the trunk of a car the boot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of its yeah. boot, it pulls it It has manly shoulders to... Sling a bow around, certainly. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. No, I like the compartments. Compartments. Okay. Centaurs have compartments <laughs> in this one. We'll go with the far right. more realistic. It takes a shot, Nerix. It hits AC 13. Miss. Oh. Luckily, it has multi attack. It takes a second shot, Nerix. And it hits AC 18. Uh, that is going to hit. You take six piercing damage from its arrow, sir. Okay. I'm not happy about All right. that. Two more centaurs. Who hasn't been uh, killed yet? <laughs> Delta. Technically right. not dead. Two centaurs. <laughs> circle. Oh, so you're, you jumped 30 feet. Mm -hmm. So that means they've got like 30 feet of straight charging line, would you say? I'm, I, would I wouldn't say disagree. Right? There's a there's a line of deltas in between. <laughs> but and we're still in the woods, so that's uneven ground. You don't want you're gonna turn an ankle if you run too right. fast. They would there's tell you trees of shit, right? Yeah. So is you it wanna, straight? You wouldn't want to on demand a sacrifice, so, so Alright, oh. they're gonna charge. Yeah, that's curious. Um, <laughs> does anybody get an attack oh. of opportunity? <laughs> oh that's does the check mark. Yeah. Yeah. Does Delta get uh, an attack of opportunity on one of them? Sure. Delta, you but, can take an attack of opportunity if you'd like. Woo! All right. Because that, that ends Sanctuary, right? Oh, it would. <laughs> it will. Don't, I would say well, I've still got duplicates. Do it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't uh, 
<laughs> well, you think about that, Delta. I'm going to make some attacks. <laughs> oh, I rolled two natural twos. Oh. Okay. I'm not going All to. Right, I'm well. going to keep my sanctuary. They, where, they were charged, they both against me? Were they one each? Uh, one, one each. They charged okay. one, one charged each of you. And while you're wrapped in each other's arms. Uh, Jumped away. You, you have at least another round to live, I suppose. An Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nerex flying about sir I'm going to use healing word at second level to get um, Kiros up thank oh, you all right. <laughs> you're welcome that's the best I can do uh, sadly it's so great. you can go ahead and roll roll the roll the dice if you want um, oh okay uh, what is it 2d4 2d4 isn't that right Yes. 2d4 plus... Do I get my... Oh, plus you your my charisma, bonus, probably. Too? Oh, yeah, plus... Sorry. Yeah, plus charisma. charisma. Yeah. Oh, ch charisma? My charisma mm -hmm. is charisma plus, four, so plus four. 2d4 okay. plus four. So I have <clears throat> eight hit points. Yay! Woo! Yay. Woo! That's more than me. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to get my bow out, which is good. And I'm going to... Attack Johnny here. Um, 16 to hit? 16 does hit. Great. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. And you didn't need it there, obviously, Six. but don't forget D4s. Oh, right. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, I did forget. So um, that is six points of damage. Probably not really shot much at all. And I may... Yeah, it was well. I'm shooting the one. I want to shoot the one who's wounded. Whoever was the most wounded. So I'm trying to. I mean, unless we're gonna fucking run, if we're trying to bring these guys down. We should focus fire. At least that's where I'm. That going. one so. is over Kiros and is now bloodied officially. Oh, thank you. Great. Okay, so yeah, I shot him in the ass. <laughs> in his the compartment. horse part. Compartment. His compartment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I put put it in the boot. I put the boot in. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to fly an additional 30 feet so that um, I'm oh, okay. further out of their range. But yeah. gravity is okay. going to help me. So, F them. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Sounds Thank good. Uh, for Delta longbow, and or like Andromeda. Andromeda, you want to go first? Or you want uh, to sure. Uh, Andromeda will set... Uh, Naya down. Oh, bless you. <laughs> uh, you have to remove her from your inventory sheet. Now. <laughs> <laughs> <of> that, yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, she'll command Nicodemus first to, because he has, if I remember correctly, we did put a uh, a health healing potion. potion. Yeah, healing yeah. potion oh. shoved in him. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, he does. what I think the order of events is is that she is going to cast. She's going to use her uh, Amazonian battle cry, which is a bonus action, mm -hmm. and then she's going to attack the one that was the centaur that's on Kiros. Charged her. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay, been sure. bloodied. Oh, all right. So oh, she ganging gets up on the hurt, hurt centaur. Gotcha. Yeah. So I get a bandage on him because he's a monstrosity. Right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bloodthirsty <laughs> monstrosity. How dare he. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, which is with an 8 for advantage. Uh, a 16 to hit? <laughs> That's probably okay. Plus d4. Plus a d4. Okay. That's a hit. 16. Okay. Oh. Good. So that's the eight. So that's six that's points of, of damage. Now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I rolled a d4 just to see. You only give me an extra two. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was getting worried for this centaur. Well, he's uh, <laughs> centaur's pretty badly hurt. Okay. And then, yeah, Nicodemus will fly down and like deliver its healing potion to Kiros. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, do I get does it administer it or does it just? Yeah, it was my question. Uh, do 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 on main helper. So if I can carry a single posture and, and administer it, yeah, and administer it. 
Yeah, to any willing creature as an action. Oh, I'm unwilling. No, I'm taking <laughs> uh, this healing potion. I feel like I'm there's like thanking my new best little, robot friend. I feel like there's like a little straw that pops out of his chest <laughs> and is like, <laughs> oh, so convenient. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was gonna like baby bird. <laughs> it's like it's like a, oh, like a home uh, done. <laughs> just like black. Oh. There's a there's oh, a line it. in Hamlet that refers. There's a line in in Hamlet that refers to the pelican opening up its chest to to nurse its young, like with blood. Mm-hmm. It makes me think of that. And it's just, just a... imagining this giant lion mouth, and then the bird like perched on the side of it, just. Bleh. Healing potion like, in. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, like, terrifying like emo. Little baby bird, like. <laughs> um, and that's it's just a regular healing potion, right? It's just two d four. Yeah, it's the one we bought or okay. we're given. Yeah. So, ooh, I will take it. Uh... Okiros got healed. Uh, Andromeda, you made a shot, so well, that's your turn, right? There we go. Yep. Delta? Which four of you All are right. breathing uh, Dragon's Breath? <laughs> 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 so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to turn around. All, all four of me are going to turn around. I'm going to get within 15 feet, but so that, like, so that it wouldn't hurt Naya and Andromeda. And uh, spray a, a cone of hot fire at the the centaurs that charged at those two. Okay. Hot fires. So, so they have to make a dexterity saving. Like it. All right. Plus two. Here we go. Twelve. That's and eighteen. Not. Oh. Uh, well, the 12 doesn't make it, but the 18 does. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. take 3d6. Let me get that. Uh, or half as much on a successful. Okay. So, let's see. 6, 4, that's 10. And another 6, 16. I don't like it. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> So 16 for that one, and uh, 8, is it, for the other? Mm-hmm. Okay. You've burnt uh, some centaurs. You smell some horse cooking. <laughs> horse meat. <laughs> and I don't, don't know if your characters would have ever back. smelt that before, but if they haven't, they have now smelt cooked horse. <laughs> mark that down somewhere. If it behooves you. <laughs> add, it, add it to our... Oh, if it behooves us? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just gave all the centaurs uh, inspiration. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. They don't they need, need it. it. They're going to need it. <laughs> They're going to need it. Oh, uh, okay, Delta, is that uh, is that your entire turn? Anything else? Uh, I'm also going to use my bonus action to convert some sorcery points, but that's, you know, that's less oh. cool. Gotcha. You're doing some sorcery things. Okay. Kiros. I'm alive. <laughs> um, okay. You got your straw fed Capri Sun healing potion <laughs> in a bird. And uh, you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to uh, use half my movement to stand. And then I'm how many how many of them are around me currently? Uh, I would say two, but you could probably position yourself where you could have three in melee range. Okay. If you'd like. I will pivot slightly. So there are three within uh, 10 feet of me, and I'm going to use my daunting roar. So as a bonus action, uh, cre- uh, the, the three centaurs that can hear uh, have to succeed on a wisdom saving throw, DC 13, or they are frightened of me until the end of my next turn. Okay. Uh, well, that's a nat one, so that one's frightened. Okay. Uh, that's a seventeen, so that, that one's not. One's okay. And that's a six, so you frightened two of them. Okay, perfect. And then I will attack the bloodied one, which is also frightened. Oh, and I forgot to do that. That's fine. 
So that's a 20 to hit, a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. And I will... You, you do get it. You get advantage against the Frightened, right? Ooh, do so, I? I don't know if you... Isn't that a thing? I'll, I'll take it. Am I remembering that correctly? I think, I think they get advantage. Or you get... They get disadvantage. Let me just look here. Oh, they get disadvantage. Is that what it is? That might be it. Yeah, that's my memory. Let me just well. check. Hang on. Uh, frightened. A frightened creature has disadvantage at ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. The creature can't willingly move closer to the source of the fear. Oh, now they're already next to me, so... So that charge gotcha. attack gets nullified by them. Well, still a hit, Kiros. Okay, so I do eight slashing damage. One is just barely hanging on. Come. It was it was gonna fall over and die, but it said, "Nay, <laughs> not today." Oh. <laughs> Realize that you are the pungent master. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody change that on the overlay? Okay, well, it's every monster we encounter is is like <laughs> throwing in these little zingers it's, at the top of everything. So it's 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 I, the part of their ability. Uh, well, it's part of their ability to inflict psychic damage, <laughs> <laughs> as all things <laughs> in Hylia. Uh, okay, top of the round. Justice. The centaurs turn about and. Yeah, you better. Take off. You better. Yeah. Run. <laughs> they're they're uh, strategically disengaging and they're thundering back from whence they came. My inside ear in, in the clouds, inside. you hear, let this be a lesson next time. It will be a full sacrifice. Do not challenge <laughs> Sidon. Sidon will kill you all. <laughs> Fuck Sidon. <laughs> right in his ear. Shh. <laughs> Gotta take a short walk off a long pier. I'm not doing great. <laughs> no. Now the party may continue on. <laughs> oh, oh well. I I lay on yeah, the ground where it's not been it. scorched. Yes. yes, I I rush over to Kiros and cast cure wounds at the second oh, level. Thank you. <laughs> What's this uh, more thundering? No, no. 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 <laughs> he thought it was, but it, it actually. Oh Jesus. Uh, Yes, it's fourteen. Thank you. I'm I'm doing great yeah. now. <laughs> What's this oh. up in the air? The sound of a dragon's wings? Go away! No, it was just it was just the wind. No, that wasn't Oof. nothing. I have your uh, stupid horn. Delta, barring calamity, are you okay to go on, or or would you feel better if I healed you? I have one first level spell slot left. Uh. Maybe falsely hoping that we get along as <laughs> soon. I should probably <laughs> be fine. Okay. Well, I'm assuming we're going to short rest a little bit, right? Before now, take an hour to recover before we travel. Mm. Or do we want to rest for a long rest now in the here? Oh, we keep getting attacked I have in six hit points. <laughs> yeah. No, now I'm I feel gonna, bad. I, 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 can spell bad. Slots. <laughs> I can I, I can heal myself. Well, I don't complain. I'm a bird. I take my hits and, you know, you'll know when I complain, I'll already be dead. Um, uh, my little head will fall limply on my chest. Uh, that's It's so sad when you see a dead bird. Cause their neck muscles are so not strong, so it's the first thing that goes when they die. So you pick it up and they're all like... Anyway. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Uh, yeah, I have two spell <laughs> slots. Second level, I can heal myself. Wait, one of the centaurs comes bit. back. It's interested. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It is bloodthirsty, after all. Are you, are you telling a story about I'm dead like, birds? I've had no. a lot. I've, I'm offering him a cup. I wring my wound out. <laughs> Here, fuck off with your friend. Yeah, <laughs> uh, um, yeah are we sure we're going to do want to take a... Like, we're in the woods. What time of day is it? Is it, um, it probably is plausibly? nearing evening. Yeah, it's, it's probably getting... Uh... Should we make camp? Should we gather Sundown, up the, I would the, say. the blood and gravel and make a little... Bed rolls out of it, or I, what? I am spent. I got nothing but attacks left. I don't have rages. I don't yeah. have roars. I'm doing pretty I, yeah. good on hit points now, but I don't even have enough I, sorcery points to convert. I have one. You can't convert that to right. shit. <laughs> um. uh, so yeah, maybe we'll find somewhere less blood salt and just take a nap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Or or if we Sorry. think we can get to the vineyard or something, because yeah. They, mm -hmm. 
oh. things keep attacking us in this woods. I don't feel yes. great sitting up camp let's, here. Let's say Naya, the vineyard just ahead. Look, oh, there, there it is. <laughs> oh, perfect. What do you know? Hey, hey, Theracles says, oh, hello there, friends. About time you saved my daughter. Oh, you all look uh, a little worse for the wear. <laughs> yes. you, weren't, you weren't hoping to stay here, were you? Right. All right gotcha. Well, I suppose you could sleep in the vineyard, but don't ruin the grapes. Thanks. White people. I'll ruin his grapes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was the gist of his. Uh, yeah. We established that NPC, right? <laughs> Did I yes. get that right? Yes. Yes. Uh, he, he does say, "Oh yeah, let's see here. Quest missing daughter." Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, he is actually, uh, the book says this, he's overjoyed. I guess that's how it comes out for him. Uh, that's just my <laughs> interpretation of it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, while he is not a, a wealthy man, he does have a family heir- heirloom that he would like to give to the heroes as a reward. What is it? That's cool. Okay. Uh, it is a javelin, and it is, it's... Mm-hmm. it's uh, decoration its looks on either side look like a little lightning bolt oh it's a oh, javelin sexy. of lightning Enough Ooh, lightning bolts okay. holy what? shit really <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> i don't know who wants a weapon white, white people come across things you know and then they just yeah they don't know. it's generational wealth that is kind of like the unsung benefit that yeah doesn't show up so, on the census um whoever whoever wants a javelin of lightning can add that to their character sheet <laughs> Or, you know, since you're all pretty beat up, you could, like, fight over it. See. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, considering I apparently no. did not take any hits. <laughs> <laughs> Andromeda's in the best position to muscle Damn it and it. grab it. Yeah. <laughs> Joke's on you guys. Team Long Range is in pretty I've... good shape. Um... <laughs> Although, uh, not me. Wounded. I even have more hit points than Naya. Yeah, no, it's not great. Um, Heracles <laughs> says, um, you know, consider that a little special something. Uh, Karina says you you did take her to the boss's chambers as instructed, so well done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, no, I, I think obvious choices are either Kiros or Nerix, if Nerix can use uh, martial weapons. Um, uh, I will be able to. Because yeah, Nerex has all the class stuff, maneuverability Javelin? in the world. Is uh, that? But Kiros is if that's if a bard can use a javelin. Let me just look. No, Kira... is it a simple weapon or a military weapon. Let's see. I thought it was simple. It's a simple melee I weapon. Play. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm Swiss. Whoever wants it, I, I will. I'd love it, but I don't need it. Or uh... also. Yeah, sorry, Andromeda. Andromeda. You... No, I was thinking maybe Kiros can get it because he'll have like a range option too. Yeah, right now my range well, option a bow. is a, a bow. Long bow. I a... Yeah, I mean I can use a bow. I'm pretty, and I will be better with it at at a couple levels. But look, javelin of lightning bolts is rad as hell, and I <laughs> am not going to say no to that thing. <laughs> um. I... But you did just get a poison horn. That I kills did you just time. get a poison horn that I was actually thinking about using in that last fight to <sighs> paralyze everybody, yeah. and then we all run. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you would have used the horn, maybe they would have gotten the point. Oh. I lay down and die in this vineyard. So, Garrett, <laughs> Garrett, I have a hard time hearing you, which is saying that I can Good hear move. you. Uh, if you if you look down. On your your screen, if you hover over it, there's a little like microphone looking thing. If you click on that until there's an X through it, it's really gonna help us. Oh, out. Yep, yeah, got it. Yeah. yeah, you might not see it right now. Yeah, if you just hover over yeah. it. No, uh, got it. <laughs> um, then again, like Andrew, Amazon's in a javelin is classic too. So I think we got some options. Um, and you're already you at range. Just roll for it, and you can kind of throw it through lines. I guess so. See, hold on a second. Uh, Do you have to attune to it? We could just pass it back and forth. <laughs> Here, I'll throw it to you. Like Cap's, Cap's shield, Thor's yeah. hammer. Yeah. Um, then it would become a, a javelin of chain lightning. Oh. Oh, like oh that's that. more Fucking inspiration. <laughs> like that. Well, there's that spell, so like that's yeah, kind of a cool upgrade if uncommon. it was like that. I don't... I don't think it requires attunement. It doesn't look like it requires attunement. So, I, like, why don't we... 
We're all asleep next to it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, we could roll for it. I'm down. If someone else wants this horn, I'll trade it for the javelin. <laughs> I yeah. like the horn. What does the horn? What does the horn do again? The horn feeds everybody. So good news, we all have food. If this guy <laughs> yeah. was going to be a poor host, uh, and if you blow in it, it creates like a paralytic g- gas cloud. Which I am the best to survive, cool. which I believe is why yeah. I have it. And I'm also in the front a lot, but it's, it is a ranged item. You can use it 60 yeah. feet away from you. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah it's silver, and drag, silver Dragon Breath, right? I mean, more uh, or less. Pretty much, yeah, Actually, without, the, without the damage. You know, I like the idea of, of the melee characters having ranged options. Because I have a ranged option currently, and I've got spells which are ranged. So I, yeah. I will seed my claim on this. Okay. Um, and and let you know you two fight it out. Other than the the classic I wanna, I image watch. Of, of an Amazonian uh, chucking uh, I javelins, I do think the strongest argument so far is that Kiros has something he can do at range, uh, barring any. Since it was that since that was your argument, Liz, I'm presuming you're for it. But yeah, um, well, and then because it doesn't require attunement, if if you know there's a there's something else in the future that we all. You know, hand it, just hand it to whoever could use it. It's going to be an evergreen magic item. It casts lightning bolt. Like it's, yeah, it's good or a version of lightning bolt. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's like a half lightning. Yeah, it's like a half lightning bolt, but still, I mean, still, so, for being a simple melee lightning. weapon that turns into a lightning <laughs> yeah. bolt, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, but it, wait, yeah, because it's. It's like half a lightning bolt, but then the person... Yeah, so you throw it, it becomes half a lightning bolt on the way there, but then the person who it hits can take a crap ton of lightning damage in addition to it, so... Yeah. Um, Naya would certainly rather sleep in the vineyard, but if we're within sight of the city walls, if anyone would rather sleep in the palace... uh, Uh, Vineyard would probably be better. I think Less on my outlander kit. (laughs) I'm please, gonna, please don't eat I'm any of my grapes. <laughs> my dad time what? to you know, cool down. Who, so. who's yeah. taking, I'm just curious, who's taking my family heirloom? Me, the giant lion man. Yeah. Oh, that's that's quite shocking. He, he goes back oh, into the snatches. Did you <laughs> did you not find the little microphone, Garrett? It's right it's right there. <laughs> Let me screen share. Here, I'll show you where I'm looking at. <laughs> Right next to it, it looks like a picture of an old carriage telephone and an X next to it, if you push that at all. Listen, Sidon and Lutheria are going to need all this inspiration. Don't worry. I, under, I am worried. You say don't worry, and that's what worries me. <laughs> they are going to need it, because we're going to get them. You're coming for them. They're gonna... Now with my lightning bolt, I'll kill that's this right. lightning god. Okay, everybody, <laughs> right. it's a that's long right. rest in the vineyard. Yay! Yay. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, who's Jeebus? He's, he's from Theros. Okay. He's a dragon lord. <laughs> oh, oh, we're building tra- up the dragon for... lord Jesus <laughs> for 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 east for just off uh, Palm Sunday. Yeah. That's right. Uh, oh, right, dragon yeah. lord Jesus and Hosanna. He, he of course rides a red dragon, which once it uses its breath weapon, he says, "I fried for your sins." <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Marty, that mute button you were talking wow. about? Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought I was depressed. And, and you were complaining about me. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Turn it about. Jealous. It was all play. jealousy, dude. Oh, wow. Well, that's inspiration. Well done. I'm not above getting uh, my hands dirty for inspiration. Mm-hmm. That's the whole point. <laughs> okay. Um... So you awaken to a new day, just outside of Astoria. You have, I think, at least one thing you need to accomplish in the city, which is address this whole Horn of Balmetria and drinking from it deal, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it, is there a scenario in which we could have just done that last night, or is there more preparation to it? Is there more like a ritual to it? Or, or do we all want a long rest before we start sticking yes. around with... I, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Yes, I'm in prophetic trances all the time, so I'm I'm down. I'm good to do some mushrooms, pop open after some magic you, wine, whatever you guys after, need. 
after you wake up from your eight hour long rest, Kira says, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, when you drink from the horn, it puts you asleep for eight hours. So Oh. Uh... Oh well, you know, <laughs> it's just a minor detail, but come on, let's go to the let's go back to the temple and we'll talk to um what's his name? Was it Aesop? Oh uh, yeah, the the elf. Yeah, they do have pretty oh, uh pretty recognizable names. Aesop, Keeper of the Dragon Shrine. Yes. Let's go talk to Aesop and drink from a dragon horn, shall we? Sounds fun. I mean, I'm not doing okay. that. Sure. Do I'm just going to jot down, you know, notes and make stories. Because that's my role. What? You're just going to watch this while we're all... Yeah. Just gonna watch this uh, it is good to have um, an acid chaperone if you can get one. <laughs> Co- a co-pilot. <laughs> I Someone who can make the world guy. work. Um, an upgrade. Just don't look card. in the mirrors, dude. Don't don't answer the phone. Don't look any mirrors. No authority figures. <laughs> to the dragon shrine, you all go. Aesop mm-hmm. welcomes you in, and he gets some of his finest wine to put into the horn of Thalmetria. So oh, I thought it made the wine. We have to supply the wine. Okay. Ah, uh, well, he puts wine in it. On the rip off. This this wine is is the finest wine that the dragon shrine has to offer. It's, finest wine I mean, at Dragon Shrine. It, it's yeah, a it's... Dragon Shrine wine, so it's not like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep going. Don't, Don't be get cheap your about hopes it. up. But it is the <laughs> finest that we have, so you know. To the top. There's a lot more horn left. You can keep. I can, yep. I can see daylight. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's got yeah. one of those automatic stopper things. <laughs> I can see daylight. Yeah, I can. Day, day, like, <laughs> like give keep me. Keep pouring uh... until the sun goes down. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. <laughs> Okay, Ooh. so you all take a drink from the Horn of Balmetria? Uh, yes. yeah. I, suppose, I mean, yeah. it's on our, our quest log. I will not be flying while I do it, though. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yes. You don't. You wouldn't want to upset the air traffic control and all that. Tell balance. Well, right. you know, alcohol is a depressant, so you can't fly while you're depressed, right? That's right. true. That's true. Mm. But I will oh, charm wow. you and I'll enthrall you all with my sad songs. <laughs> So it says drinking even a small amount of wine from the horn for the first time sends you into a deep sleep for eight hours. So you get another long rest. Hey. Hooray! Mark it again. <laughs> See, I made up for the fact that you didn't have a long rest all that time. I yeah. Two in a row. I'm clicking what the button. And I did nothing. <laughs> you all have a vision. You all have the same vision. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Trip, trip. You are standing on the deck of a beautiful galley. A bright, cerulean sea stretches out before you. You look down at a strange bronze device in your hands. The device seems to reflect the constellations of the night sky, even though the sun shines brightly overhead. The oarsmen pull the ship through the water faster than you thought was ever possible. You look down at the the men on the benches, They meet your gaze with dead eyes and skeletal faces. Dozens of leering Mm -hmm. corpses. And you're startled awake. Share your dream with Kira and or Aesop. Sure. Yes. They would be happy to help you interpret it. Yes, please. (laughs) They say that there is only one ghost ship known to the people of Thylia, and that is the Ultras. And that this is uh, uh, this was that uh, famous Estor Archelander ship that you keep hearing about all all so often, right? Well, apparently, finding and claiming that ship has become a fourth great labor for this group. Yes, that's ship. right. You must go and claim the Ultros as your own. Cool ghost ship. I'm down. Good luck finding Esther, wherever he may be. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, what's this? He should help you here in a week. Device, you said? Here in a week. Yeah, well, I was about to say, what about yeah. the device? I felt like that looks rad. Yeah. Yes, very good. Very good. <laughs> Sunday. Oh, wow. That's that's inspiration, sir. In fact, <laughs> you could have inspirations, although the rules prevent it. So. <laughs> I get how many? 200? <laughs> no. Punspirations stack, apparently. 
<laughs> What's like this it. strange device you say? Well, oh, yes, this this bronze construct from the dream can be none other than the legendary magical compass known as the Antica Thera. Huh? Felt. Let me the let me spell this out. Thank you. I was about to ask. <laughs> I have it. I, it's it's A N T I T H E R I K A Antithicara me mechanism, which references the actual thing from history, right? Yeah, yeah A, A N T I K Y, as in K Y jelly, T H E R A. <laughs> A little something I threw in there to help you out. With the spell. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's not in the box text. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, as a good DM, I'm trying to you know help you through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the spellings and the navigations and the pronunciations and whatnot. Uh, it has uh, it has the power to navigate uh, to navigate to all of the islands in the Cerulean Sea, the Forgotten Sea, and even the legendary Nether Sea. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's uncertain where this item might be found. But no matter, it's useless without the ship, anyways. So the ship probably is the first on your list. However, finding this strange device has now become the group's fifth great labor. Okay. Um, luckily, those two pair up really well. I think we can. Yeah. 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 So okay. Them out. So the so the kind of kind of like wine in a horn. The <laughs> the Antikythera th th that thing doesn't work without the boat. Does the boat work without that thing? <laughs> yes, the boat. Works okay, well. good. Because so I was going to be like, "Well, Although, that's going to suck if we find the boat." And we're like, "And you can't move it." It's like, "Okay, we'll go find the other thing." <laughs> you have, you do have some limited range, right? So the compass will give you the ability, right? To the, those great seas. Yeah, it'll just be like a regular boat until we find this thing. I played video games before. I get it. Regular boat. Yeah, but yeah. Well, with an undead crew. That... A regular ghost boat. Yeah. Yeah, regular ghost boat. Now, did the boat look? Did the boat look? suitably haunted or was it just full of skeletons what well, distinction did, did are you making <laughs> no, i meant like i meant like i meant like the boat fit like like was it like a scooby-doo boat like was the wood all rotted and like like the the shit the sails all tattered or did it like look like pristine and then there's it's just full of skeletons yeah i think it's more the latter okay. but i mean use your imagination <laughs> thank you i'm going to picture something <laughs> that fits my narrative. That's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is your mother's tree. Yeah. She I looks mean, I great. Imagine the wood from your mother's tree holds up over, you know. All yeah, it's trees. magic. It yeah, yes. it's, a, it's a beautiful looking galley with some less living folk. On it. It's a it's not, a not so living people. It's a bilf. It's a no. boat. I'd like to no. don't. No. Don't f, don't f, <laughs> don't f the bill, don't f the b, please. Don't Actually, it's a sylph because it's a ship. For being up, so just do. that. If only they were water spirits. If only then it would fucking totally. Light I'm up. a water spirit. <laughs> <laughs> but sylphs it's okay, aren't. It's okay if I make air that joke. I'm, I'm, I'm an air. <laughs> no, it's all right. You're, you're, you're yeah. Spirit. Okay. Sure. Well. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got. Hey, what's this? You're you're in Astoria. Oh, your fame has gone up. Some folks notice you. It's a group of dwarves. I dwarves. Oh, oh, hey, shit. there they are. Um, hey, us us dwarves no, no, uh, no. would like to uh, suggest you come with us to the Dragon's Tooth and uh, the, a, a round of drinks on us. We we see you've just woken up. The sun's setting again. <laughs> <laughs> we thought before you go back to sleep and get another long rest and continue on your adventures, we, we would love to offer you a round of drinks. Yeah, man. Mm. Sure. I'm down. Hey, you, hey, they challenge you to some arm wrestling. Who wants to arm wrestle the dwarves? See, there's no hey. such thing as a free drink. <laughs> I'd like to arm wrestle them all at once. By saying that they Contested strength life. check. Let's Here we go. Do it. Oh, not arm wrestling and drinking beer i can't guide or whatever whatever your choice of yeah uh, athletics if i can but oh yeah yeah i'll, I'll give you an okay. i'm look i'll give kiros inspiration you can do can it can i buddy. guide on the slide oh, inspiration all right i'll take an inspiration yeah wait are, are you all yeah. casting spells on kiros <laughs> it does Very feel a subtly. little unsportsman but <laughs> 
right. Ever? All right, okay. I won't. I'm I'm probably depressed in a corner anyway. Okay. That's fine. I rolled, I, my athletics check was a 14, and then my inspiration roll was not very good, so, so 15 total. Well, the dwarf only rolled a 5, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody cheers. Oh, the great mighty Kiros. Kiros, Kiros, Kiros. Okay, so now the dwarves want to get down and to that's business. that's just Kiros. That's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> business. Um, business? They... They heard that you uh, you might be heading into the Mithril Mines. Yes. Oh, yeah. They, they were talking to their buddy Vulcan, you know, because he's, you know, he works the, he's a smith, and they they kind of like that kind of stuff, so they, you know, they go and entertain him, entertain his, you know, really? you know they talk and stuff, whatever. So uh, they uh-huh. say, um, actually, uh, some of us dwarves, uh, we we were old enough um to have lived through the events that forced us to flee from these mines. It's mm-hmm. cursed by Lutheria. No, oh, her again. She sent uh, a nasty three-headed dog beast in there. And try as we oh. might, we couldn't reclaim the mine, so we had to seal it up. You see, the mine, back in the day, it was used for all of its mithril and adamantine. That, uh, there was a vein of that stuff. Uh, that was mined out, that was used during the First Wars. We armed the Dragon Lords and used the Mithril Forge that was there to do so. But, you know, nobody goes into the mines because it's really dangerous because of the what Lutheria did. So we had to we had to abandon it. Sure would be great, though, if uh, all those dwarven lives that were lost in the mines, we never really got to give them a proper burial. If wouldn't mind bringing back their dwarven skulls so that we can do some proper burial, some proper saying of goodbye to our kin who did not make it, we would happily give you ten gold pieces for each skull. Do you have a skull bag? Or receptacle? Yes, actually I have one right here. How many are expecting us to recover? As <laughs> many as you can find, sir. I wouldn't imagine it's more than in the tens of skulls. Okay. Do we Thank have you. to dig up any of these skulls and engage in skullduggery? Skullduggery. So yeah, so it's it's a just, it looks like a microphone. Are you seeing it? <laughs> Little black spheres. <laughs> it's inspiration. That's what that microphone is. <laughs> yeah, you've all got it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, I'm patient You don't zero, have to keep trying. You already have it, Sue. <laughs> yeah. no, I just... It's for me. <laughs> and, hey. What's this? Would anybody like to carouse in the dragon's tooth and gather rumors? There's uh, yeah. Else. Yeah. Ah, I'll do it. Sure, if you want to, roll a d8. See what rumor you gather. Oh, okay. There's lots of folks in the dragon's tooth. They don't have COVID in Thylia, so they can all pack into this place. <laughs> no, it's a safe here. I love it. Uh, I rolled a six. <laughs> oh, a six. Andromeda, you hear that the copper mines of Astoria are struggling to produce enough ore to meet the needs of the city. If only the mithril mines could be reclaimed. How appropriate of a rumor to hear. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I rolled a four. Oh. Kuros, you've heard that a band of warriors traveled to the necropolis last month, but they haven't been heard from since. Everyone knows that place is forbidden. Why'd they go? <laughs> Nobody knows. To disappear. Okay. I, to start I got over. a five. Oh, a five? Delta, uh, you've heard that King Acastus of Mitros has fulfilled his promise to revive the dragon lords of old. Several farmers claim to have spotted his dragons flying overhead. God. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. A bit of foreshadowing in the rumors, knows. perhaps. <laughs> mm. Wonder what that could mean. Wonder if any of those no dragons were on. silver. Yes, in fact, I do think one of them was silver. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Mm. Demanding sacrifices. Oh, hmm. They, they didn't hear any of that, but maybe. What was the die roll? A D6? An 8. Oh, a D8, eight. sir. 
six. That's what I rolled. I already got a six. So okay, I'll roll, I'll roll again. Oh, you want to roll again? Well, I heard that too. <laughs> okay, right, seven. How's that? Seven. Okay. Uh, Nerix, everyone agrees that Princess Honora would make a much better ruler than her father, King Pythor. But everyone loves Pythor, even though he's a terrible king. Mm. He still has some street cred. But yeah, he's... Pythor busts into the dragon's tooth. He's like, oh, he's a player's oh, coach. Oh, hi, everybody. Oh, there we are. I thought I would just come down and visit normal folk for a bit. Yes, just hang out with all of you people that aren't gods <laughs> or kings. Yeah, have a few beers. Oh, who's the arm wrestling champion? <laughs> hey there, Lion Man. Yeah, Do it. Uh, bring it, wrong. God of War. <laughs> come on, let me let me get my stats out. Let's have an arm wrestle. Oh, great. <laughs> I'll take magical help. Like I'll take magical help on this one. <laughs> now I'm giving you inspiration. Okay. Again. Uh, and how I see that going, Garrett, is everyone was first telling the rumor about Princess Sonora would be so much better, and then Pythor comes in and they're like, "But we love Pythor. Pythor, <laughs> take care. Right. I've always said so." <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it was pretty much something like that. Yeah. Can't believe I got myself cursed for this guy. <laughs> Oh, there's my daughter. You learn how to use that hammer yet? Keep swinging. On it. Build up those muscles. Get really strong. <laughs> Think, thanks. None Dad. of that. None of that nonsense with the spells. Just good old might. Watch, watch, watch me. Watch me beat this lion at, at a good arm wrestle. Oh, let's go. Come on, lion. Yeah. I you ready? It. Yeah, I'm ready. I rolled. Okay. It. What? What'd I, you roll? I got the twenty-six. Okay, well, oh, I've got shit. a plus 22 athletic. God Brandon, damn it! So I only need to roll a four. You damn it! Oh, I rolled a natural two. You beat a god today. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> nice. I knew the gods oh, were gone. Well done. I must have flipped. Yes. 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 Now, <laughs> well, I tell you what, we'll still say I won, but the next round of drinks are on me. I'll take it! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you have some fun in Astoria for the evening with your newfound fame and people buying you drinks. And now a new day dawns. And, I mean, we only have a little bit of time left, so we do actually have to get to the Mithril Mine so that the episode title can be out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I'm not forgetting anything, right? No, I don't think so. Don't you think got so. your javelin of lightning. You drank from the horn of Valmetria. What else is there to do in Astoria? Um, Getting boring here. Go ahead. Get on the road. Do your adventure. Uh, Absolutely. Organize the revolution. The hammer. Doing a lot of brooding in corners. <laughs> Come on. Come on, young lady. You'll be of age soon. Then you can have more fun. No, I think that's... Oh, no, I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I come from the woods. Oh. Yeah. Nobody, Our customs are different. Check. Nobody check on this liquor license here. In the <laughs> You're the shot. king. No. It's fine. Oh, that's right. I make the rules. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Everybody can drink. Age no matter. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, man. I mean, I can see why people want you in charge and not the father. Just gonna... yeah. I come from Put Princess Lenora rushes in. Like, no, 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 no. That's not the rule. No, we're not no. making that rule. I come from a hippie commune, and you're starting to make me see why laws exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's, wow, I get it now. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, this is starting to make sense. No, okay. Well, civilization isn't so bad after all. <laughs> okay. Off to the Mithril Forge, you go. Is everybody prepared? Anybody want to buy anything yes. or do anything in a story? Um, I will say, as a point of caution, I'm going to refill Nicodemus's little health potion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we, we have a habit of giving away most of our treasure, which I do favor, but do we have I anything don't. we can <laughs> Fair enough. Do we have anything we I can I didn't sell give away anything. <laughs> Or turn into more potions or anything like that? Do we have any opportunities for that here? I now? have a pearl worth 100 gold. Okay. Um, I actually might be able to use that and identify spells, but... I was going to um, say, it sounds like a spell component. Yeah, we might want to hold on to that just in case, because, yeah, there's 
that's defo spell component worthy. Um, but all right, yeah, and and we're still working our way through our, our class, uh, the ones we got for free, and we have uh, multiple healing spells available to the group. So mm -hmm. let's see. We're going to use them. Yes. All right. So we're off to the abandoned road. That's right. Let's do it. Long abandoned road, rocky and overgrown with roots and thorny shrubs. It winds westward along the granite cliffs of the Astorian tributary. Here we go. Off into um, the uh, uh, sort of the, uh, the mountains uh, nearby along the cliffs, along this abandoned road because the mine is no longer in use. And what's this you hear? Yes, as you're as you're pursuing you're on your way to the mithril mines, it's it's a thundering of hooves. <laughs> Shit. Oh um, no. It it couldn't be. But yes, it's coming from the north, the direction you're heading. It's getting louder. Oh, it's it's a dozen mounted men riding oh. in that oh. direction. Okay. The riders are wearing bronze helmets and they carry long pikes tied with flowing scarlet ribbons. No, wait, wait, the riders draw closer. They aren't riders at all. They're centaurs. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Why? Oh, they are nomadic They're warriors wearing bronze with helmets, the horses though. of men and the lower bodies of horses. All 12 of them hoof up and sort of surround you in a circle. You can tell that one sort of crosses his arms. He's, he's the leader. What's this? You recognize some of these centaurs. These were some of the ones that left the riverside. Mm. Naya, when you encouraged mm. them to walk away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Their supposed chieftain sort of stops and stares at you a bit, as if sizing you up. He says, my name is Hukar. I lead uh, this band of centaurs here in the steppes north of the city of Astoria. You were the one that was be sacrificed, all of you, to Sidon. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Where do you travel? Some these dangerous lands outside of civilization. Uh, we're headed to the, uh, you know, the Mithril Mines. Oh, the Mithril Mines. I see. Yeah. It's a dangerous place. Well, this, this is a dangerous land. Did you know, heading towards the Great Falls, where the mines, which the mines are under, beware, troglodytes have begun dwelling in those mines. Okay. Do you know of these creatures? They're the, they're the Foul, smelly lizardy ones, right? folk. Right. Yes, they all smell. With our horse scent, we can smell them from quite a distance. Oh boy, that's the hot corn yes. kettle. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, it must really be bad if they don't like it. Yeah, <clears throat> there, it's it's quite fishy smelling. <laughs> sure, it's very yes. it's like stagnant a, pool kind of. Uh, it's like the opposite of the great musk of the centaur, which is <laughs> the great musk. <laughs> A fair it, sense, strong, and invigorating. Famous fair. realm wide. Yes, it's a very. Yes, theirs is very nauseating and disgusting. Yeah, we would we would go and take care of them, but uh, our kind would not do well in the narrow corridors of, of the mines. It would be fatal for us. In fact, um, a few of my kin uh, ventured too close, and I fear for them. They were recently taken, I believe, by these troglodytes. Would you be up for a favor? Perhaps I could ask you to, if you're heading into the mines, to take a look to see if you can locate and perhaps even save my kin. Looking I, at the spear points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would be willing to yeah. reward you. I, I like well, <laughs> Down to press us, stacks. <laughs> us centaurs don't don't really live by normal civilized means with money and such. However, we we do have some potions of heroism 
for some reason in our compartments that we would be happy to hand out. <laughs> that, that sounds cool. Pretty good. Man. What you gonna you gonna offer us compartment potion? Yes, that's right. Juice straight from our rumps. Oh. I need to really comp compartmentalize that information. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I throw myself. I can see off there the is one thing. among you who's Sometimes. very inspired. <laughs> Sometimes I wish the centaurs had taken me that day. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're looking for an intern. Um, they're potions of heroin. Uh, you have to be brave to drink them, knowing where they came from. No one calls me a coward. Right. Give me the... <laughs> here, uh, if you agree to do this for us here, let me give you this uh, this horn... Just like a, you know, like a mm -hmm. goat's horn that you can make a sound from, you know. Uh -huh. Here, take this with you. If you if you hear of uh, or learn of the fate of our kin or are fortunate enough to uh, find them alive uh, and can return them uh, to the uh, to the great majesty of the, of the steps, then blow on this horn and I will hear me and my centaurs and we will come to your aid and give you your reward. Mm, Whether the news you. is <laughs> no, no, not like that. The I was just end. testing it. Oh, end. my bad. <laughs> to the kazoo of centaur summoning. Yeah, I like that too because Kira's whole snout would fit in the wider angle of the horn, so he thinks that's it. <laughs> oh, backwards. Yeah, I just heard the noise. Was too weird, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very well. Well. Be careful. Not all centaurs are like us, where we yes. surround you and then ask you for, for, you know, and hand out quests. Some of us would just rather stomple you to death if we're bloodthirsty. Really? Fortunately, we're not. So, hopefully, you don't do run any into any advice and Do you have any advice on dealing with those bloodthirsty types? Um, no. <laughs> they're, they're afraid of, or you know. Well, let's yeah, see. They, uh, certain. Well, they, maybe I don't know. Do, do any of you speak Sylvan? No. Uh, Unlike everyone looks at Naya. <laughs> I, <think> I, do. <laughs> I do. Perhaps, no, uh, I perhaps Elvis. try to we all speak perhaps try to ease their bloodthirsty nature with a nice Sylvan lullaby or something. Well, all centaurs. Are, I, I can do that. I do have a question: of What poison has taken the heart of your kin that they all just? Mindlessly stomple, I believe is your word, in the name of Sidon. Turning against fellow Thylians. I understand there's a certain amount of sport to war for your people, but, like, it's been bad lately. Yes, uh, some feel that uh, they would prefer the ways of, of old, where mortals were not amongst us here in Thylia, and so they ally themselves with those that share the same views like Sidon and Lutheria. In fact, um, many of them have grown up only knowing Sidon and Lutheria. So, Some of us more enlightened centaurs that live near the cities that have seen that mortals aren't all that bad, even though they make rules and then sillier rules and then decide to undo those silly rules with old rules and live in odd civilized manners as, as that. Uh... Yeah, okay. They could probably stick around. <laughs> well, I think we can all agree people are the worst, but yeah, I just... feels like some of your kin are kind of spilling out into the parking lot, if you get me, so... Mm, yeah. But... Okay, well, well, thank you, and, and thank you for your wisdom and clear sight, and we will, we will rescue your, queen, your kin if it's it, within our abilities. Fantastic. Uh, Come, we'll... my centaurs, let's thunder away. <laughs> Hear it. Go off to the south. They just, they just call it thunder, huh? Okay. It's a thunder of centaurs, I believe. Hmm? <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Did they want, like, their swords and spears if we couldn't retrieve them alive? We never did get an answer to that. <laughs> uh... Do you want their stuff? Like, a name tag or... Um, I think we're so supposed we, to use ever, the horn if we find we the any skull bag? remains or anything. Uh, I think, yeah, I think you got the skull bag. Is that in our inventory? We're learning a lot of different death rites across cultures. 
Uh, yeah, I think Andromeda is gonna write like on a bag dwarf skulls, and then another bag write centaur skulls. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta keep them separate. Never the twain yeah, shall right. meet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't cross the skull streams. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to offend one group by like, oh, that's not one of right. yours. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't want to get into that situation. Yeah. Okay, you continue on to the Great Falls of Archelon, this rocky promontory that looks out over this spectacular vista dominated by the Great Falls. The river cascades over a sheer cliff and roars into a vast semicircular lake, throwing up white mist as it does. In fact, these falls are almost beyond description. It's as if an entire ocean has spilled over the edge of the world and you stand marveling at the space beyond. Wow. Never seen anything so grand. And the yep. sound of the rushing water is deafening. Okay. Interestingly enough, down uh, near that uh, semicircular uh, body of water, there are four massive statues of stone hands that surround the lake. And to the south, you can see that the river snakes down from the mountains, down through the old woods. And off to the west, you can see the snow-capped Mithril Mountains themselves that dominate the horizon. So you descend along uh, a path uh, along the cliff uh, that leads down towards that lake, and you see the collapsed entrance to the mine. You know that there's no way to get in through the mine proper, uh, at least through this, uh, through this means, because it is uh, completely inaccessible. However, you notice there's a pathway. That's right, there's a pathway that leads up from the riverbank, and it leads up and under the waterfall itself. It looks like it's been relatively it's relatively well used. Yes. Yeah, there Perhaps should definitely there's... be a chest behind there. <laughs> yeah, chest, yes. <laughs> or an old man handing out swords. Yeah. Um yeah. the 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 hands, are they like reaching out of the ground or are they palms extended like an offering? They're they're oh, like that. Okay. They're upward faced. Does it look like anything's missing from them, or that's just kind of the. Nope. Ah. Nope. Nothing's missing from them. In fact, uh, as Kira takes, Kira takes a look at them and goes, Oh, oh, you're looking at the hands? Yeah, those are the hands of Kentamane. I was about to say, if we uh... knock these four down, then he's going to be the 96 handed Kentamane. <laughs> <laughs> at, at a severe disadvantage, yes. since together we have what? Math is not to my strong suit. Twenty five hands. I was gonna say probably, probably have twenty. Yeah, yeah. It's somewhere in that neighborhood. My grammar school teacher said math would come in handy in the future, <laughs> and I didn't believe it, but I think you're right. <laughs> Did you know that Neo is the one backwards? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look out! You're right. <laughs> <clears throat> um, were the the Mithril Dwarven tribes? Ketamine worshippers, or is this or ketamine? No, or? ketamine's hands just um, you know they're everywhere. They show up from time to time. Yep, kind of like a maybe an intimidation thing. I don't know. I mean, they they, they lie dormant up? all over the place, but sometimes they'll just disappear from one place and show up at another. But oh, okay. apparently, all over Thylia. Yeah. So, so. The, these are a supernatural oh. event. They are not something that someone okay. carved and put here. Okay. That's okay. correct. No, these are literally. And is that the hands where they get the enemy. name? Okay. The hundred handed. Mm-hmm. Because yep. their hands are. You everywhere. find these all over the place. Yep. Hands. Yeah, kind of like an intimidation tactic, maybe even. I don't know. Sure, Mr. Hands. Yeah, he's everywhere. Like it. And it gross. That's. Oh, yeah, yeah, gross. Terrible. Yeah, he's like Santa Claus, but not really. <laughs> Creepy. It's part of his hands across Thylia campaign. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Pythor flies in and high fives and then flies out. That was a great one. Yeah. Good job, Donna. You're, that's the wow. way to get named the air. Yeah. Hunting. And yes, Pythor's going to be like, the best dad jokes. You must the best dad. Can't you not so. leave your city? Go, go home. <laughs> Okay. I think Anora probably sent him out. 
but yeah, yeah. Please, yes, please go. At least it's, I know it's only two minutes, but please. <laughs> Just any, anywhere else is good. Literally anywhere else. Okay. So up the path and under the waterfall? Uh, I believe so, okay. yeah. There's... Keeping eyes out for troglodytes, yeah. Well, yeah, should we, I, I, I think we keep a nose out. Can they, we look for... They literally smell. For signs and tracks, like what is... This path is well trod, as you say. Can we try and figure out... Yeah. Is it like carts? Survival oh, check? I'm I'm good at them. I imagine... Everybody does Several those, of right? us are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mystified by the waterfall. Okay. Um, and you want me to try? About yeah. Trying to become Let's, one with it, because yeah. I got Ranger. a seven. <laughs> Save us. Yeah, yeah. I've I've got a three. I'm too busy banking puns. Oh, over so here. that actually means it was a natural one too. So yeah. No, I, I'm just looking at the fall, <laughs> wishing to become one with it and rejoin my people. Yeah, I got a seven. Uh, Thirteen. So. Which is, I mean, okay. Ah. Thirteen. But better than most of us. I got a ten. Thirteen, man. You, <laughs> Sounds like the too straight, yeah, muddy yeah. and mushy. Yeah. Some looking about. Uh, the, no, no car. The guy track. who's not there's nothing. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing so obvious. You, you can, you can tell that um, the the tracks that are here, although mostly on stones, so you can't make out exactly what they what they are. Hmm. Uh, have been have been made recently. Um, the the oh. journey up here took you uh, a good portion of the day, so it's getting into late afternoon. The sun will be setting in a few hours. Um, I would say with that check, you probably are are suspicious that the troglodytes might be more active at night than they are okay. during the day. So this might be the time where they're actually starting to get active. Mm -hmm. You would expect them, if they are going to be coming out, yeah, okay. Putting two and two together. Maybe maybe they're, uh, maybe they're not, not so far away. They could, be, they could be coming out any moment. In fact, what's this? You smell a scent that is a little, a little fishy. Oh no! Is it, is it just the waterfall, or is it something more? You're not sure. You'd have to venture up the path, I think, to find out. Wait a minute. Um, Neo isn't after the one you, spelled heroes. backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I will follow this fishy smell up the path first. As is my. Um, uh, roll in this party. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll follow. <laughs> All right, everybody's gonna follow up the path. It will take me yeah. some willpower to take my eyes off of this uh, fall, but yes, I will. I will fall in behind. <laughs> I fall in. in, nice. High five. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, no, God. no, thank you. If I don't accept it, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> It's not official. Yes, what's this? The stink wafts up from below as you get closer to the entrance to the mines under the falls. Four filthy-looking humanoids clamber out onto the path ahead from a tunnel that leads deeper uh, into, the, into the rock behind these falls. Upon seeing you, the troglodytes drop their fish and begin chattering to each other. <laughs> The stench is nearly overwhelming. You notice a hungry gleam in their eyes. And that's where we'll pick up next time. Nice. Crazy. You did it. You did it. You did it. We didn't die from the stench. just going into the mithril mines. I that's mean, right. It's it's, yeah, it's, it fits. It's, we're into the mithril mines. That's right. Yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm so into it. The the title wasn't a flop. No. We did it. <laughs> a little little reachy, but I, I like it. I like it. It's a little fish humor. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, okay. next Woo. time yeah. we'll find out what happens with some troglodytes mm. in the mithril mines. But until then, do we have any shout outs that we want to make? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, oh, go ahead. 
Well, I was no, going to say to this very uh -huh. channel, yeah, smash the subscribes and likes and, and make comments and bells probably do something. And if you're on Twitch, you can subscribe or you get that free Prime subscription. What else are you using it for? Critical Role, they have enough people. High Rollers, they're fine. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Or, or pay real money for them. They have probably added benefits and stuff. We got a couple of <laughs> sweet ass emotes. So <laughs> throw it our way. And you're not going to find puns anywhere else but here. Not not a, not of these not of these. Nowhere group. else on the internet. No. This <laughs> this is it. Uh, and where else do you hear about the horse juice in the compartments of the centaurs? I mean, that's I, right. You can't get that anywhere. This is you're pun stuff. Not going to read that out of a book. Somebody's not going to be crazy enough to write that. We're crazy enough. To that's speak. right. <laughs> to do it. Yeah, and then uh, we're off Monday of next week, but uh, Wednesday is Star Chasers. Pew, pew. Pew, so pew. come chase. Things, things are starting to come back together. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Parallel adventures in space. After Crimsano. <laughs> Thank God you guys got here. It was a real tragic scene. <laughs> Thank uh, you, yes. everybody, for playing. Thank you Come for GMing. Thanks week. for having us. Yeah. Our Thanks for master punching and mastering us. Thanks Who knows? The Mithril Mines, there could be centaurs in there ready to stomp all the... <laughs> oh, no. He hates centaurs but now. They're, but they're at a disadvantage <laughs> because of those corridors. <laughs> they are. They have the single file. Yeah, they're... Okay. Which I don't oh, think they're afraid of. Single file, and then I lightning bolt them. Wisdom saving throws. We got the anti-single file centaur device. <laughs> Unleash the anti-single file centaur device. Check off lightning javelin. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>